Hello, it's I, my sake. Back again with another session of motherfucking Bloodborne, baby. And we're gonna go ahead and be naked once again. And go through the Nightmare Frontier where we're gonna face up with good old Mikolash. Yeah, it's gonna be a short episode only though. Because, um, there is a new game. There is a new game out there. On which we need to play. And that's gonna be around 9 o'clock. So until then. Hi, you bro! Until then, I thought we could hang out with some good old. Uh Oh wait 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 there's one there. It was right there. Don't you know that when you accidentally press a new video and you're like, oh no, the one I was looking for was right there. All right. Okay, so here it comes. Wait! We can go get some beast blood pellets. Even though... See, we still got five. We need two for Mikolash. Two for Mikolash is needed. Mm. Maybe we could just do random stuff in this one and go pick up... The thing, let's see, how powerful is our weapon, by the way? Plus 8, right? Plus 8, yeah, that's powerful enough. How about our chunks? One more chunk and we can go plus 9. Whip. You need a whip. You need a whip it. We can sell the nitrous. 13,000 then we can buy a whip oh no no I have no idea why I can't buy. I think I know why I can't buy a whip because we haven't killed Cleric Beast yet. Ah, bollocks! Alright, fuck it. Let's go through Mikolaj's area. We don't need all this now. We'll just go through Mikolaj's area. Basically, just we can just rush it. There's not really anything that we need. So, let's go ahead and check here. Tikolaj. Tikolaj, 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 Tikolaj. Da, 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 da. Oh wait, there is a chunk right over there. I'm just trying to remember if there's anything else we need here. You know, I could leave some areas open so we can always go back and uh, explore them if needed. 
Let me just go get the chunk since it's free. <clears throat> Ooh, that's a close one, man. <laughs> This is dangerous, dude. Oh. That was close. BL4 stands for Blood Level 4. When you level up in this game, it's called Blood Levels. As you can see right now, I'm level 4 because that is the lowest level you can become. So that's why we call it Blood Level 4. Jesus crap. Oh, it was risky though. I just needed those. Ah, I knew it was too risky. Jesus, this place is dead today, dude. of them. <laughs> I'm gonna put on some music.
Yo Pola Bipolar place. <laughs> I already left. Just leave me alone, dudes. Just go. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mortal Kombat released today. Dark Wolf. Oh, it's good to see you, man. Thank you for that. Look at that fine. Fedora. I'm just putting on some uh, that tells you entertainment is on its way. Entertainment for myself here. A top the fourth wall video. You know you are guaranteed to see a comic book be lambasted, torn to ribbons. What Doug did for movies and Spoonie did for video games, Lewis does with comic books. And it's his insights and analysis of those comic books which has helped to grow his subscribers and his view count. As the years have gone on, one of the things you're going to start to notice, especially in this episode when you compare it to the last two, is common threads and themes start to emerge between the content creators that are featured heavily on That Guy with the Glasses. One of those major themes we're really going to see play itself out here is always a bridesmaid, never a bride. Or to think of it another way, it's uh, think of it like this, Dark Wolf. I've already been, already been sitting alone for 20 minutes, so Noah, I've, I've not even talkative anymore. I'm sorry. It's when so fucking annoying it takes so long before anyone shows drunk, up, you know. He withdrew into a drunken depression, deciding it was better to retreat into Twitter to roleplay as his dog, rather than attempt to do something new and innovative to chase his own dream. While in Doug's case, he built a website, established a new character, created a brand, and grew an audience, before deciding he wanted to branch out and pursue comedy. Sadly, in regards to his dream, his audience was apathetic at best and openly hostile at worst to his pursuit of this goal. Lewis, on the other hand, did the opposite of what Spoonie and Doug did. Rather than establish himself first and then afterwards go on to pursue his goals and his ambitions, he tried to create before he critiqued. And that is perhaps the greatest Maybe. irony of all. Maybe that the man so well known online for tearing apart crappy, terrible comics is himself responsible for creating one of the worst web comics that has ever existed. I'm looking. Axwolf is here. Hello, Axwolf. Take something a little bit more interesting here. Uh, the craziest thing about it is, these 
people are not the worst. This is just the appetizer. The main course is coming up because the worst people are the diaper lover community. The people that I briefly, briefly touched on. Good video. No, no, no. Wake up. Let's do wake up. A video. The people that wake up. me with lawsuits, with the police arresting me, with having my channels and social media accounts shut down. I've always likened the internet to a wild west of sorts. There's a chaotic element to it that makes it so. If you haven't checked out Medicare on uh, YouTube, you need to do so, guys. He's my favorite YouTuber again, right now. And again and again. And it doesn't matter what kind of a site you're on, whether it's a social media platform or a content site, an image board, or a <clears> forum. <throat> it's that unknown element of interacting with another person from a different walk of life that is a major part of the appeal. You don't know what they're going to do, what they're going to say, what they're going to link to. It's completely and utterly random from your perspective. And there's an excitement about that that's integral to what the internet is. It's integral to human interaction at its core. Probably tomorrow, time, Doc Wolf, like, I don't know. We've seen a shift take place over the last five or so years from what the internet was into what it's going to be, into this Frankenstein Orwellian nightmare that's awaiting us just around the bend. You've already seen small glimpses of where it's going, but I think it's important to talk about what the hell really is happening right now and what it means for the next decade. Because if you really don't start to pay attention at this point, you're never going to get it back. The situation most of us find ourselves in at the moment is what I like to call the result of a serendipitous conspiracy. It's not that a group of people got together and decided this is the end goal, this is what we're going to do, but rather that groups of people with similar interests in mind saw one another working towards that goal and threw their weight behind one another. And among these are three primary groups. Ah! The government, corporations, and social Jesus justice Christ, I'd never get hit the there. That scared the shit out of me, dude. Doing this. <laughs> the end result will be the same. Censorship. You being silenced, not being able to speak your mind or say the things that you want to say. Now, we've already seen a major portion of the government's hand in this played out publicly. You had the Snowden leaks, you had the Der Spiegel articles, you had people like Applebaum and others speaking publicly about what's going on, about programs like PRISM, where the NSA wants to have different corporations work with them to monitor you in every single aspect of your daily life. If you're using a piece of hardware or software, they're going to find some backdoor or some means to surveilling you and even curtailing what you say. This has been talked about now for years. This is probably the most openly known component of what's happening right now. When you look at those leaks, when you look at the information that's come through, all these different companies decided to jump on board with it. They didn't care about your rights. They didn't care about free speech. They just did what Big Brother told them to do. Apple, Google, Microsoft, every single one of them decided to fuck you as hard as they could without really giving any consideration on whether you'd like a little lubrication before the angle. They just don't care. A lot of people seem to think it's just software related or it's just an internet service that's being compromised somehow. No, it's your hardware too. Listen to uh, this excerpt that uh, Applebaum talks about. I want you to really listen to this to get an idea of just how utterly fucked you are in regards to what the government is doing right now. This is an implant called Rage Master. It's part of the angry neighbor family of tools where they have a small device that they put in line with a cable in your monitor and then they use this radar system to Bounce a signal. This is not unlike the great seal bug that Lewis Theremin designed for the KGB. So it's good to know we finally caught up on the KGB. But um, now with computers, they send the microwave transmission, the continuous wave, it reflects off of this chip, and then they use this device to see your monitor. Yep, so there's the full life cycle. Here's the same thing, but this time for keyboards, USB and PS2 keyboards. So the idea is that it's a data retro reflector. Here's another thing, but this one, the Tudor Yard program is a little bit different. It's a beacon. So this is where probably then they can what the their own. That's pretty scary stuff. They also have this for microphones together, room bugs, uh, for room audio. Notice the bottom, it says, all components are common off the shelf and are so non-attributable to the NSA. Unless you have this photograph in the product sheet. Now that's the government. That's just one of the three groups, and their rationale for this is security. We've all heard it before. That's why they need to know what kind of cornflakes you ate this morning and what you said to your friend on Instagram last night because of security to, to stop terrorism. We all know it's a bullshit rationale. We all know there's a lot more going on to this than what they're saying up front. 
but that is the line they're sticking to. Now, another one of these primary groups, the second one, mm -hmm. is corporation. Corporations are fairly straightforward. Their reasoning behind wanting censorship is money. Good old-fashioned greed. You see, the Internet is a massive marketplace. Many, many pairs of eyes to put advertisements in front of. Sure, when it first started out, it was a relatively small thing. And who populated the Internet? Geeks, nerds, outcasts. It was their gathering place. There was a technological barrier in place, a tech savviness that you needed to be able to use it. But as time went on and technology evolved and hardware and software got better, it opened the doors, it opened the floodgates to more and more people. So you see this brand new marketplace open up, and my god, it is just ripe for the picking. But do you know what makes it difficult to sell somebody a new car online? When they have to look at the comments that say nigger right below the advert. It makes them a little gun shy to advertise on certain sites, on certain platforms. And so corporations have an interest in limiting what is said. They need to sanitize the internet. They need to silence you and what you might potentially say to ensure their sales. It really is that simple. They make more money the more mainstreamed and sanitized the internet is. The more control they have over it, the greater their profits. That's part of why you see things like the Trans-Pacific Partnership, the TPP agreement. Look at what was in that regarding copyright and trademark law, what it allowed corporations to do in regards to governments and individuals. It is a way for them to control and to sanitize the internet to ensure that they make even more money. So you've got the first group that's doing it for security, the second group that's doing it for greed. What about the third group? Well, social justice warriors in this context, between these groups all working towards this end goal of censorship, are what I like to call the useful idiots. See, the government wants control. They may call it security, but they want control. And corporations, again, very straightforward. They just want to make money. They have two very defined purposes, and they are beneficial to themselves. The third group, the useful idiots want to sanitize the internet, they want to censor it to create a safe space to protect their feelings. Because hearing what other people think offends them. And so what better <laughs> way to stop being offended than to silence everybody else? So this plays into the goals of the first two groups. So while the social justice warrior thinks, oh, isn't it great that the government's getting involved? Isn't it great that these corporations and websites are getting involved? They're mistaking this as altruistic when it's really self-serving. Those two first groups are doing it because it serves them, not because it serves the greater good. But to a social justice warrior, they are too blind to see this. We have seen over the last five years, specifically from this one group, these SJWs, a push to censor everything. Can you name one website that does not now have an amended terms of service agreement about what you can say, what kind of avatar you can use, what kind of name you can use? Facebook has proper pronouns. Twitter now shadow bans you. YouTube now restricts the content you can upload. League of Legends is getting rid of people they deem toxic. It doesn't matter what platform it is. They have influenced all of them, and it is always the same people. Notice who went before the UN. Who was at the Google Talks? Who is friends with people that work at Twitter? It's the same names that pop up again and again and again. People like Anita Sarkeesian, Zoe Quinn, Randy Harper. These are names that are attached to this movement, and it's sold to you as being for your benefit. They're going to make the mean, evil, icky people go away. Somebody said nigger, get rid of them. Somebody said kike get rid of them. And to you, that may sound great, but their offense doesn't end there. It's not just people that say outrageous speech that offends them. It's people that hold positions that disagree with their positions or who don't uphold their own viewpoints that need to be censored and silenced. You don't call yourself a feminist? We need to get rid of you. You disagree with my viewpoint on white privilege? On systemic racism? You, you disagree with my ideology? You need to be silenced. Because clearly, you're a misogynist, you're a bigot, you're a homophobe, you're transphobic, you're a cis pig. And yet, these are the people that are in positions of power to sway those that have massive platforms and decide policies going forward. To them, this is great. Censorship is the ultimate hug box. When everybody's silent, nothing bad ever gets said. They are useful idiots. Look at the interplay that takes place between these different distinct groups and how their actions benefit each other. Take Twitter, for instance. Right now, there's discussion going on that Twitter is shadow banning people, that they're essentially limiting your ability to speak out and be heard. And it's really an insidious approach. Rather than outright ban you or get rid of you and risk you creating another account, they limit the ability of your tweets to be read by anybody else. 
they black hole it for 24 hours. So if you say something that's important, it's topical, it's on point, and it's in the moment, nobody's going to hear about it for a day. What's the effect of that? Well, one, it makes you think nobody cares. Two, it dissuades you from even talking about it again. And three, it limits the impact of the information. Now, who does this benefit? Well, it benefits all three. Firstly, it benefits the government. Why would this work for the government? Look at groups like Occupy Wall Street. Their ability to have an impact is their ability to get information out quickly, is their ability to swarm that information to many, many people. If you can make it so they can't do that, you've cut the legs out from under them. For corporations, this is great too. They make a screw up, they do something stupid, nobody's going to be hearing about it for a day. The longer they can delay that backlash, the less of a backlash there's going to be. For social justice warriors, it's even better. It makes their critics think that nobody cares what they have to say. It limits their ability to respond. And by creating a wall of silence, a veil of silence, it makes it look like the social justice warrior's voice is the loudest because it's the only one being heard. And all three of these groups are selling this to you like it's for your benefit. And maybe you're on board. Maybe you think this is the right approach. Maybe you want all the bad, icky people to go away, all the hate speech to disappear. Maybe you don't want free speech, you want safe speech. Now you might say, Jim, you're an asshole. I've looked at your videos. You say horrible things. I've heard you make racist and sexist comments. You've made fun of people. You've trolled people. Why should anybody care what you have to say? Well, you should care because when my form of extreme speech is gone, yours becomes the extreme speech. It is on a downward spiral towards the lowest common denominator. They will find more and more things to be offended by, and they love to be offended. And these perpetually offended people are the ones that want to dictate to you what you can or can't interact with, what is acceptable or unacceptable. They're not asking for your input on it. They're making that decision for you. And that's probably the most offensive part of it all. They think you're too incapable of dealing with that on your own, because that's how they've been raised. They think others aren't capable of making these decisions on their own. They don't think you're adult enough to decide what a good or bad interaction is and how to deal with it. So they make that choice for you. And then they claim it's for your benefit. But at their core, they are useful idiots. And I think the saddest thing about all of this is that if the internet is like the Wild West, we're never gonna get our moment at the Alamo. We're never gonna have that last stand because it's gonna be hard to rally together if you can't even hear the gunshots being fired in the distance. I'm sorry guys, this is just such a beautiful video. I mean, I freaking love this. There's, it's so true. Whoa, there was someone right behind me? That could have gone wrong. And I urge you all to go watch it and actually listen to what he says, man. <sighs> we are being run by stupid people, I mean, I... I need you. I need you. <sighs> no, but just imagine if we take away our freedoms and actually say what we want. That is exactly what the big sites are, our corporations, everyone is trying to, <coughs> to do. What if we lose that privilege? What if we can't say anything? What if we're being silenced of what we say if it has potential to offend anyone else? I wouldn't want to live in that world, to be honest. What's wrong with Woody's gamer tag? What up, Custy? This is kind of a problem because I really need to take a piss right now. It's much, much more. Oh, there he is. All right, see, I've learned some strats. Check this out. 
I think. I don't know how to line it up perfectly, but we'll try. Oh yeah, I actually did it! <laughs> no. Oh, look at that! I actually did it! <laughs> like for a short second there. <laughs> Where the hell am I? Okay. As you did for the vacuous rum. Some say cause them. Because they are having a speech impediment. That's why they say cause them. Because it's really cause. The orphan of cause, as you can see, if you paid money for the DLC. I am Mikolash. Da, da, da. I have a Gatling gun build, but it's just, you know, a basic strength build even. Okay, so um, this is it. Let's buff a luff and uh, let's go kill Dickolash and let's pray that he doesn't, you know, do what we don't want him to. Boom! And I'm dead. <laughs> Suck my titties. Oh, he made it like a real one, a real life one. Are you familiar with the bully hunters? Oh, wait, 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 no, Hawkbox. Hawkbox! Hard mob. For when people are getting bullied, they can go to hard mob. Someone is going to sit out there and just come for you and say, you know what? You're all right. You're an okay individual. They are the ones. They're just jealous. You're beautiful as you are. And we're going to make fun of them. Anti-street harassment group Hollaback is launching HeartMob, a crowdfunded new site designed to help crack down on online harassment. Well, praise Jesus. Somebody's going to save the internet. You know, this is why I read the Mary Sue, one of the most reputable... An announcement to make you got here. married? If I didn't read the Mary Sue every fucking day, I wouldn't get the hot opinions on important stories like this. Hollaback launches HeartMob, an anti-online harassment community aiming to save... The internet. Well, it's mm. about fucking time. I can't tell you how hard it is to function on the internet. I want to just... I need to explain this to you. You need to know what my day-to-day -day life is like. Just yesterday, I was watching an anime video on YouTube. When I put into the comments, Oh my god, this is like so cool, guys. I really, really dig this. Do you know what would make it even fucking better? Shadow the Hedgehog. Please, please Funimation, put Shadow the Hedgehog into this. And do you know what happened? Do you know what happened to my exuberant response, my fan reaction to this amazing anime that I was watching? I just wanted to share my opinion. I should be able to do that on the internet in a safe environment. But lo and behold, those gosh darn dirty trolls showed up. And I, I have cried myself for the last couple of hours just even remembering how traumatic this was yesterday. Someone actually yep. showed up and said, Yeah, go, well said, Custy. Cancer. Go fucking die in a fire faggot. Shadow the Hedgehog is horrible. Stop watching anime and put the rope around your fucking neck. Well, you know what? <laughs> I don't have to deal with that shit anymore. Because Heart Mob, Heart Mob is here to save the day. These people are famous. They have an anti-harassment street patrol. But I don't need to pitch it to you. Let Heart Mob do that. Take a look at their promotional video. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, suck it, suck it, suck it. You ain't gonna bully me, bitch. Ah!
Oh shit, I shouldn't have looked in chat there. <laughs> Damn you, X-Men! You got me killed! There are too many people on the planet. So many weak ones. Oh yeah, been there and done that. How many times have you had somebody harass you by saying, Are you a boy or a girl? X-Men, are you a boy or a girl? Whatever Zim Self decides today. You don't tell Z what to do. Zim Zap, Zoopy Bop. Okay, motherfucker? I decide. You don't. And Heart Mob, they're here to help. You know, i just like to take a moment to thank the innovative women on the internet who keep creating these websites women. that are just, these are brilliant ideas. And without strong, independent women, we would never see them. Now, I did a video a couple months back no, about another website. I was actually going to put it on night, but I only had an idea. hour to play. Because 9 o'clock, I have to play with Innosphere. That pitched as That's why I did this. Profiles for people you know, and then put up facts and information about their life for other people to come and comment on. Think of it as a yellow pages you have no control over, where they can put up your full name and address and phone number, all your internet accounts, and then comment about relationships they had with you. It's a brilliant idea and in no way abusable. And it was a strong, independent woman that came up with that. And Heart <laughs> is the same story. Another strong, independent woman with a brilliant strong, idea. Strong, independent women. Website where people can I'm a fucking cucumber. And allow anonymous strangers to offer them support. What could possibly <laughs> go wrong with that? Now, Emily may be proprietary. All right, right, right. So, you're being bullied, right? And you can type in completely to anonymous, an anonymous people that you're being bullied and tell you, oh, they call me fat, they call me this and that. How can that be abused? <laughs> Will anyone well, abuse that? woman that came up with that, and Heart Mob is the same story. Another strong, independent woman with a brilliant idea. Let's create a website where people can complain about being harassed and allow anonymous strangers to offer them support. What could possibly go wrong with that? Now, Emily May, the proprietor, the owner, the operator of this brilliant website, has addressed some potential concerns that you might have, that you may maybe are in the back of your mind, obviously. As with any anti-online harassment measure, oh, what the Heart Mob won't be a cure-all. And although the site is moderated, there's always the possibility that online jerks might fixate on such a social justice-oriented community. Still, in theory, I really like the idea of creating a network people can turn to when they need some emotional support in the face of online hate. Oh sure, there might be a few hiccups here and there, one or two potential suicides, <laughs> but this sounds like a bang-up idea. What could possibly go wrong? I anonymously sign up to give you emotional support at your weakest moment. Well, you know, sure, sure, there might be some bully jerks out there that uh, hop on and leave, I don't know, certain messages that might be discouraging, but that's just, you know, you gotta put that aside. The site is moderated. The possibility, you know, in theory this works. In theory this works. It's not like this website's gonna have a higher kill tally than a Call of Duty clan playing a fucking group of elementary schoolers. <laughs> not at all gonna happen. I can't possibly see this being a site that people are going to create sleeper accounts on just to fuck with special snowflakes. And did I remember to mention this was crowdfunded? 572 backers on Kickstarter paid $20,000 dues to create their own online therapy group. They have paid to construct a fucking hug box. Just let that sink in for a minute. Just really, just let it, drink it in. Drink it all in and really think about what that says about the internet community as we know it today. We have officially reached a point on the internet where people are paying other people to listen to them bitch. They've exhausted <laughs> all of the help options available on normal websites. They've gone to Twitch support and poured butter into their fucking GPU. They have gone to Twitter support and begged them, can you just auto-block everybody on your platform so I don't have to talk or interact with anyone because that's triggering. And Ban everyone. <laughs> so thank God for HeartMob because they're here to fill the gap when you're so bothered by everything on the internet that you actually need to fund your own Huckbox headhunting corporation. HeartMob is there for you. And you can see from their promotional material, they really know what their audience is. As a gay woman in the public eye, man, do I have trolls. HeartMob is a transformative tool for troll infestations. I'm so excited to use it more. The vicious targeting of women, women of color, 
Queer women, trans women, disabled women, and other oppressed groups who speak out online has reached critical levels. In a climate where online harassment and abuse suppress freedom of speech every day, HeartMob provides a supportive community that collaborates our voices while reducing stigma and trauma. Now, some of you naysayers out there, you darn dirty trolls, you bully jerks, might think that this is a site run by a bunch ah! of sensitive pussies. Then maybe this is nothing more than SJW ploy to milk shekels on the dogs. You would be wrong. I want you to know that I think Emily May, the founder and creator of this website, is a genius. Let's and as she would put it, she's my Shiro. I've read my history books, and I know a Shiro when I And everyone is definitely a Shiro. I want you to listen to some wise words she wants to impart to the internet. In a free society, some are guilty, but all are responsible. That's a quote she shared from Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel, and that is the founding principle for her website. We need people in this free society to monitor and censor each other so that I can feel safe, because I should be able to talk on YouTube about my love for Shadow the Hedgehog without somebody condemning me to having my tits fall off. That's just, that's not fair. And if you're like me, and you want to do something about those kind of comments, then I encourage you, I really, really encourage you, to go sign up right now for this website. I think you should offer supportive messages to every single one of these individuals. Be that shoulder to cry on. Open your heart and share a little empathy with them. I'm sure you've got some words of encouragement that are really gonna get them through those tough times. As Carol Ann said earlier today, Heart Mobber is great so far. I'm getting a good feeling from the support messages. Well, Carol Ann, I think you're gonna be getting a whole lot more support messages real soon. And I, I hope they give you a good warm feeling too. All right, boys, so you heard that. Always provide a shoulder for someone who really needs it. So that's what your good old pal Marsik is going to be doing. So any of you boys being bullied, you can come to Marsik and tell it. He won't make fun of you. He'll always lend you a shoulder to cry at. So uh, out with it, boys. Out with it. I once being bullied by a to Son of a dick! I'm being bullied by Mikolaj, man. But I can imagine you being bullied by a toaster axe, man. That's why you fuck it, right? Something like that. Stop eating shit. I don't necessarily think that shit is going to make you fat, Custy. I think it's more fat stuff. Why do I see the message bar move but don't see any messages? That's Thank you for that. Oh, yes. A-Town. Definitely, I am going to watch that. Oh, I wanted to open it in a new window, though. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. I'm going to see it. Um, Wait, now I accidentally closed down my chat. Oh, can you drop the link? Now, wait. No, it's there. Keep that bitch open in a new tab. Cool. Now I'll watch that, man. Definitely. At Max. At Max. That's a pretty good name for it. I'm, I'm actually going to go take a piss now. Shitty foods. Oh, okay. I thought that was what you meant. Ah. Bye, bye, bye. Here come. Dum 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 dum
<laughs> hey, good job. Oh, dildo unboxing. Hey, we got to see it right away then. Was killed by a runaway toaster. I'm just still trying to imagine how you're having sex with a toaster, X Man. It must be, you know, nice for a second. Until it gets too hot, and then it's gonna burn your dick or something. I don't know. <gasps> Sorry. Oh, wait. There we go. <gasps> oh, no, not this crap again. Not the hiccups. What have I done to deserve this? Stefan, welcome back to the chat, brother. I am very surprised at myself. You only told me your name once and I'm still remembering. <laughs> That's something that doesn't usually happen in here, brother. So you should be like, wow, this guy. I don't know what that was, but... <laughs> We're doing Dickolage at the moment. And he's been trolling me lately. So I'm gonna call Heart Mob and uh, bitch about. Oh, fuck! I. Yeah, he's Ukrainian. I talked, uh, we talked about that yesterday, and I told her I immediately mentioned you, because that's how nice I am. I said, yeah, I got this other guy in here. Ukrainian. <laughs> no, that's not a misconception. That's genetically correct. That's a genetic thing, though, for black dicks. They just are bigger. British dicks are small, though. I.E. Midnight, eh? Ah? Uh, ah? Uh? What the hell is that little fucker? It's been so long since we saw him, man. He's doing his school work. You know, let's get some uh, volume in on this, Martin. Just a tiny bit. Zoom me, Mikolash. Ways, man. Oh, you wanna fight unarmed? Huh? Fucking hoe. Come on, bitch. Gotcha. I oh, know this takes too long. But you knew where I was going with that, right? One, two, three, four, five. Shablamo. One, two, three, four. Shablamo. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, flamingos. Mierda, prosto, gusti, llama, blot. Mushti la gola, flachto, indus, blot. Chacoranari, manta, sale, que es torach. 
I don't know, dude. <laughs> but no, it is the day of which up, um, Mortal Kombat 11 actually releases today. And I completely forgot about that. So, again, we have a game that Marjorie needs to spend all the money on. But I don't know with that one. I think I'm just going to wait. There's going to be a hype with it, but I don't know, dude. Ay ay ay! I should never have turned up the music. Music just let me go like. <laughs> Some say cousin. Yes, that's what I said before. If they have a speech impediment, then they say cousin. Boys. Shut up, Mikolash. I can't access my menu when you're yapping around down there. Here we go, boys. Come on. Pray for Mojo now. Boys, we got him. GG, <laughs> oh, oh, baby. And we got a Mensis cage. Now, this is a Mensis cage. Like in my world, this is a cage of which we hold, you know, females' menstrual cycle. We're keeping that inside the cage. <laughs> Let me just remind you that anything he would have hit me with was bit of one shot. <laughs> Not too shabby. What time is it? 45. Let's see if we heard from the sphere. No, we haven't. Nightmare on Elm Street, right? That was one of the scariest movies when I was a kid. No, that's not true. The original It from Stephen King. Boy, that movie gave me nightmares as a kid, man. Tim Curry as a clown? Who wouldn't get nightmares at that? <laughs> Wait, free bullets. Pick them up. See, I wouldn't really say that the Jason movies were, were horror movies. They were more like, you know, fun flicks. See how many creative ways you could kill someone. That's why I've always thought Jason was the perfect character to put in a Mortal Kombat game, right? Because they kind of went that route. See how inventive they could be with killing people. It's actually pretty amazing that they get away with this. It is extreme violence in those games, man. It, it's even grotesque, some of the um, fatalities. <laughs> Mortal Kombat 1 single-handedly created the ESBR rating system. They had it in court. You know, the hard court voted for it. Hey, man, they can't put this shit in video games. We, we need to do something. And then they invented the ESBR rating system. That was because of Mortal Kombat. He hit you with his adorable smile. <laughs> what up, Rugos? Good to see you, mine. Um, we can can we get the blood rock now? No, that's after Mergo? No, it's not. 
It's now, we can get it now. Now! Mankind has always loved bloodshed. Yep. That's true. Hi, Bay. Bye, Bay. You know that I've been playing Bloodborne all these years, there's something on screen constantly that I neglected to pay attention to. It's in the upper left corner, I'm gonna see if any of you guys can uh, notice that. I'm gonna make it do it now. Yeah, I've always having trouble in the heat of the battle to figure out if my weapon was transformed or not. That uh, yellow dot up there below the pistol bullets, it actually tells you if it's transformed or not. I never used that. Son of a dick, man. Could have saved me a lot of shit. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh... Let's restock our inventory. And uh, let's go get the... Um, so we can buy insides. Because we are running around with 20 insides at the moment. And we need to, uh, we need to spend them. You know, we might as well just prepare and buy a shit ton of these. Because we will be needing them. But 67 blood miles is also... Oh, I got one blood echo left! No! <laughs> hey, who left the Discord? Uh, <laughs> who left a dislike on my stream? Hey boys, did you know that the Discord is actually being monit monit monitored by the FBI? Turns out that some people are using Discord for some very, very shady shit. So they are monetizing that now. Not monetizing. Monitoring that shit now. So we're all in danger. We're all in danger. I can actually do sound effects while we stream here, yeah, I think. I don't know if it's gonna come through. No, it's not high enough. I don't think you can hear that, right, can you? That's my no lollipop dumb shits. Probably would be a bad idea to do that. But I wonder if it's the inv individual that they remove or the, like, say, community of which they are a part of. I don't know why I hit that. I thought I thought I thought I thought I, thought I put the cat. I did see a put the cat. Mother- Those things one shot me? Are you fucking kidding me? Seriously? Wow. We entered end game, man. If I go to prison, I'll just make friends with everyone in there. No, that's what you shouldn't do. Shouldn't make any friends, man. Just sit there in the corner and be like, meh. I don't know. I've never been to prison, so I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I 
I'm gonna say something that's going to sound extremely racist, but it's not supposed to be, or maybe it is, I don't know. However it comes out, I don't mean it as racism, okay? Alright, here we go. Wouldn't be wouldn't it be a good thing to be black inside a prison? I'm just wondering. Damn, I still feel dirty for saying that. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I hope you do. I don't know. Oh, wait. Now I will punish myself for running into certain death. Shadows of Yarnum, round two. And I can... Where's the other two? Holy shit, they're all here, dude! What? Shadows of Bitchnum. I think we need um, some music to... Uh, to lighten up the mood here. Oh yeah, uh, did you boys know that DSP has been married? He's gotten married, man. Like a week ago now. Just murder anything inside, then walk back to your cell and be like, I don't know what happened, boss. I don't know what happened, boss. Yeah, but they don't got the pass from me, though, because I still don't like the word, regardless of there's, um, you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm backing out of this one. Let's hear something Believe about that, CNN. The president tweeted out a gift making fun of CNN. Look at that violence. Look at the violence that perpetuates towards innocent CNN. Totally real news. CNN is the place that real news likes to hang its hat. That's what it's known for. Not making up bullshit. No, they are a real news organization. Here's Trump attacking these innocent, sweet angels who've never done anything to anyone. All the mainstream media after this gift was posted have all talked about the trauma they've suffered at the hands of it. Oh my god, Trump is inciting violence. He's making threats against us in the media. The innocent mainstream media has done nothing wrong to anybody ever. I bet you it breaks CNN's heart, but you know what? They're adults, and they do things like adults do. CNN's gonna take the moral high ground, and they're gonna show them 
president that threatening people is not the way to do things. That's not how we act in the real world. Oh. After posting his apology, he called CNN's K file and confirmed his identity. In the interview, what up, JM? Nervous about his identity being revealed. And Thanks for Jerome, be dude. <laughs> for his safety and for the public embarrassment it would bring to him and his family. CNN oh, is not boring. publishing his name because he is a pro CNN is boring. All right, so maybe you can uh, you can answer me this, Rugos. What is it in terms of in terms of black community? I would say, what is the 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 the, the understanding, the meaning of woke? W O K E woke? Because I don't understand. Listen up, y'all don't y'all don't understand. This land that you think is America, this is actually Africa. The dear Mississippi that you love, that you know of, that's the Nile River. This is our land. You are Aboriginal Indigenous American. You are a Moorish American. So where is their green card? Where is their green card? Huh? Huh? They need weapons. We don't need no weapons. Huh? Huh? Stop calling us black. We're not African American. We're Moorish American. African is forgiving you. Go! Know the land. Know the laws of the land. You are an Aboriginal and get to this American. What kind of means you don't believe in what the American white man has? Or will create. Huh. They have stolen from cultures. Hmm. Okay. I never knew. But I've seen it uh, like they're going woke on... Um, uh, Mortal Kombat 11 actually for uh, if you beat the game with Jax it's like super woke because he's taking back the land or something like that I'm not I'm not pretty sure because I didn't understand when I saw it now it it kind of makes a little bit more sense Kill Marcek! Thank you. Don't! No! Stop! You can't see me! I'm invisible! Fucking asshole. Going woke is a thing that is trending right now. Yeah! Not as much. There's much about it right now. Black dude says that Shakespeare is black. I think I saw that one as well. Uh, you think I can beat them? This is actually not what I wanted to do. I was gonna... We, we might as well just kill uh, Murgo. Now are we here? That means I've already I'm already at end game here. There's only um, what's his face left. See after Murgo, right? Can I like regret and not do all bosses and just do um, German? Cause I want to fight German again. Did my subscribers make uh, sound effects for this game? Oh, 
Ladies and gentlemen. Motherfucking Murgo! It's so early that it's only her, actually. How am I surviving that? I am naked, man. I don't have any armor on. Dude! It's gonna be a long time. Come on. 
Stop! Yeah. I'm buffing. Let's finish this. good dude oh my god it felt good though it was a great find damn that fight is long without buffs and I was actually very uh, very very surprised to see that I could survive her big swings so either I go with buffs with beast uh, beast blood pellet to end the fight a little faster or I go without it, do a long fight, but I'll be able to actually survive when she hits me. Jiggly Moms, that's JM. I thought it was Jerome Mozika. <laughs> oh, what up, Silly Ween? Good to see you, man. Getting caught up by a kinky old bitch. I bet that feels great. <sighs> well, let's go endure some more pain. Because we might as well finish her now. We have to do all the DLC bosses too. And I do not look forward to Amidala, man. Why? So I'm gonna utilize the tactic of just running and then we're just gonna hope for the best. I hope I need to pray! Pray for Martek! Pray for Martek! Put the whole guy back squad in here, boys! <laughs> Free souls. Thank you for the prayer. Stefan, thank you for watching as well. So you don't want to watch the fight? Coming up, live for Patreon. You can pay for you. Magic Gaming versus the wet nurse. She's wet because she's fighting Magic. Ah, get it? No? Consistency is key. Is Miyazaki.
how is it that I, um... Did I get the blood rock? I seem to have forgotten that. See, there we jump off. That's not gonna help us, because the brain is still there. I can't remember how we get to the brain and, um, and kill that thing. Jerkin Murgos. That's what JM is. Let's um let's think about this. Let me try going down with the elevator. Oh yeah, that's right! Um Oh yeah, I'm sitting. We could um We could go get a, a cursed um a gem and a plus eighteen. Why the fuck didn't I think of that? We could go like a lot higher damage here. this up now. Booyah! Hey! I didn't fuck it up! Haha! <laughs> I mean, of course I didn't fuck it up. Game sounds too loud? Oh shit! Fuck, I forgot, man. I forgot to turn it down. My apologies. Surely go me, amigo. Oh, sh oh! Do, Do it. <sighs> this is going to be impossible without armor, by the way. Did you see how fast that frenzy bar was filling up? This is going to be impossible without that. How are we going to get around this? Wait, I know. I'm a genius. Except that we don't have any of them. Where do we get frenzy resist runes? We must look up. We must actually look shit up today. Frenzy runes. Frenzy rune blood one, yes. Deep sea rune location. Plus frenzy resistance. Alright, boy. Let me see what you got. Let me see what you got, RPG vision. Hey guys, please like, comment, rank, and subscribe. Nah. Fuck, it's in a dungeon. No, it's not. Wait, he's not in the dungeon. It's in the forest, but of course. I think he's from Ukraine or something, this guy. He can hardly speak English. Oops! <laughs> He's talking about a hit? No, I'm sorry. I love you, Knight. I like this guy.
Of course! It's behind two giant snakes. <sighs> to say, my is a good old fuck you. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Axeman, can you play the guitar? For some reason, I think you can play the guitar. What do you say? Yes, as a hunter, well should. Commit this time. No, I don't trust you. <laughs> uh, you you never know completely what Axeman's talking about, Lugos. That's just how he rolls. Shut up, Bobo. Okay, so we need to cross the bridge, which is Sean. Don't kill. Thank you. Get a wall. Get away. I can lock those. I can set for pause there, Bill. Wait. Maybe I'm free if I go over here. Then I got enough time to let Bob outside. He can play the banjo, because he's a red man. <laughs> so I just got a banjo over here. Uh-oh. There's no time. Not this again. Hello. Yeah. I wish you didn't have to come to this, but we unfortunately need frenzy resistance for what's to come, or I can forget all about getting uh, cursed gems. So hopefully, this one that provides me with a hundred is enough. All we could do is pray, pray for Gecko Jesus. Wonderful bloody violent storm followed by a cacophony of hyp hypnotic and seducive voices. I never played the banjo. <laughs> That's like the perfect sentence to come after that. Something epic and then be like, I can't play the banjo, dude. <laughs> we were joking, stupid. <laughs> Looks like the end of my thing. That was not what I wanted to use, but that was what I wanted to use. And once again, I have no clue where I am. I actually think I'm at the right spot, to be honest. We're looking for two giant snakes. Axeman and Knight. That's what we're looking for. I want to learn the banjo. The fuck? I think he left uh, prior to that, but then he came back, and then he left, and then he came back, and uh, I don't fucking know if he's there or not. Changes his name all the time. Is that one or two? Is that one or two snakes? I can't see. No, there's only one. Well, we're getting closer, though. I'm fucking poisoned again? Shit! Marzak, do something! God. I have become addicted to certain sounds. The sound of my soothing voice? Because I can do ASMR as well, bitch. <laughs> oh my god, I think it's cringy as fuck, though. Sorry. 
One giant snake is in my pants. <laughs> I am so sorry for that. I can only imagine how shitty that sounded. <laughs> Need to do more of that. Just an entire video. Do you like something explaining something with Borderlands? No, I'll do my entire Borderlands 3 ASMR style. There you go. How to make Axeman unsubscribe. <laughs> it's too late, Axeman. It's been done. It's been planned. We're doing this. <laughs> Do I really have to follow step by step that Russian guy? Oh, hi, Snake. It actually has a beautiful design. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, I think we're here. Yes, this is it. This is it. This is where it is. Two snakes, and it's right behind them. Question is... Okay, so one of them left. This is my chance. Boys, do it! Yeah, boy! <laughs> They didn't even kill me? I wasn't even looking. <laughs> Woo! I created for a deck stream of Dark Souls 3. What could it be? <gasps> I just remembered I could have picked up something. ASMR leads to Pornhub. Pornhub leads to porn. Porn leads to... Um, to something terrible. Considering, you know... I don't know where I was going with that. Probably for the better. Now! Please be a lot of- Oh, it's 200! Thank you so much, man. Huh. <sighs> yes! Please tell me that's enough. You like sound porn. Hmm. You kind of see why. Nothing wrong with that, I reckon. Huh. Hey, you think it would be against the rules to put on some sound porn? Just have someone moaning? Or just having the sound from porn running as we stream? Not that I'm gonna do it, but it's an interesting question if, if that would be against the rules. Cause you can't even fucking fart on stream without being banned on YouTube, dude. <laughs> Sinkip! Very, very careful when you step out of this elevator. Cha! Huh. Okay, now we pray to fucking Gecko Jesus that this friendship resistance is enough to survive. Come on, bitch! 
Okay, it's enough, but... You was moaning like a whore on Devil May Cry stream. It's because you can finally hear me when we go into a uh, uh, voice chat instead of your 144p streams. <laughs> but thank you. If that was a compliment. No, no fuck! Now I lost chat again. Ah! Damn, it's so close. <gasps> that does nothing to a roof. No, fuck! <laughs> nah, I'm sorry, I, I can't stand that. It's so, it's so, it's so Japanese. It so is. It's just not me. But having them bend over and having someone stop time. There you go. Come me in. 10 hour. No, 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 yeah, 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 it's in English. That's not my point. I mean, that voice and all. <gasps> no! <sighs> you asked for it. Dude, I would oh, never jack off to that. I can't okay. stand that voice, man. <laughs> this is for you. this 37 minutes long you are almost certainly the guilty one Look, what the hell my my how suspicious your eyes are glued to my a policewoman's panties it was you who stole my panties wasn't it Want to look closer? 
But no, if you're totally hard, then it's so certain you're guilty that I might just have to use all my power to bring you under arrest. I could <laughs> seriously last the entire well, interview, man. You. I'll just sit there. Are you going to talk this entire time, bitch? <laughs> For my Less yapping, more fapping. <laughs> oh, your penis is getting harder and harder. You can be erect. Are you sure it is not taking out from some porn movie, though? You're saying it's only natural that you'll get turned on by having such soft pussy rubbing against you? Not it. You're getting hard because you have a guilty conscience. You still won't confess? No, she's not naked. That's what. Are you not listening? I guess I'll just have to continue. She was still in police uniform, showing her, him her panties. What am I doing? I'm so if you have anything to help, I'll arrest you Of course, you can right now. Stop taking off your jeans. Damn it! Still unable to plead guilty then? In that case, take this! <laughs> and you can just imagine your those hentai titties. Oh, Giant oh, ass titties oh, be bouncing. Goodness. Look at these! prevent another sexual offense to punish you and to make you confess I'm just going to have to beat it out of you by my <laughs> I'm just helping narrating the story god damn it no I want to know how it ends <laughs> I guarantee you in five minutes she will be like ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I've got a tight hold on you now I'll give you a frisking from top to bottom Okay. Okay. Rub, you just know rub, when you're gonna penetrate her, she's gonna be crying like. <laughs> so, how does it feel to get rubbed down by a female cop in an investigation room? And also, wasn't it supposed to be AMSR? That's not what I thought that was. So it feels good, but you're still proclaiming your innocence. An innocent penis wouldn't be so hard or so ha! big. Three thousand subs. I got more than you, you bitch. How hard your cock <laughs> feels in the hands of a police officer? You still proclaim your innocence, even as yeah, it trembles with pleasure. You got that right, Ax man. And we are supporting that bitch right now, as you um, you might be aware of. You feel that good about that? Huh? Shit! <laughs> I'll rub the tip of your penis with my finger and spread around your sticky pre-cum. Your dick is throbbing from top to bottom. Just say the word, because I'm long done here. I'm long done. Let me investigate it. Mm -hmm. It tastes like you're hiding I've something. always said she got big tits. Just turn her around, take the ass, right? <laughs> that simple. What? Out of my other hand, 
my finger. If I stimulate it, then even more prey cum will spurt out, right? I think we're done here. How is this still 30 minutes long? We're going to fast forward a little bit. See, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I think we're done here. Wait, what? If I scroll down on this page, there's literally a video that features a pussy on the thumbnail and a finger. How to finger a girl 1.6 million views. I am going to report that. I find that disturbing. Sexual in, uh, content. Fuck you. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Axeman. Let's be aware next time um, Axeman prevents... Um, uh, um, um, suggests a video <laughs> honestly yeah it has 1.6 million uh, what was your plan to see that video or to to get disgusted by the other one Dude, I, I need something else man we need something good now <laughs> give me some medical I mean find a good one And you just know as, as soon as um, for you to flag the fingering video, you knew I was going to do that? Because I was, dude. That's not cool. How is that okay to have that as a, a thumbnail and then censoring everything else? I don't understand that. Not on my damn watch. <laughs> and Ruko's still going on, man. <laughs> He's still fucking that Japanese girl. Alright, now we are in the terms of uh, something sexy. You boys ever know, heard of a page called Ashley Madison? Dot com. Ashley Madison dot com was a page for married men to cheat on their wives and, you know, pay for, for hoes to come out and have sex with them. And, um, you know. Funny thing happened with that page that they accidentally leaked the information of everyone who have had this little affair, and uh, it was a lot more than uh, than expected. And of course, there was a huge deal over there. Ashley Madison, yes, you knew about that. I'm gonna do one first, Ax, and then we'll do yours. I'm ready for something new. Something suck it, suck it. And it's actually a commercial for a hotel. It even shows you come in and it's going to be discreet so no one knows. Ashley Madison, join free and all that good stuff. Life is short. Have an affair. 
Life is short, Ashley. It's even shorter still when you put a gun in your mouth and pull the trigger after your husband or wife finds out that you've been cheating on them, especially considering all the evidence that's been left behind, pointing out the fact they've been doing that. Oh, they're going to get fucked in court. Can you imagine how hard they are going to get fucked in court? Kiss the house goodbye. Kiss the bank account goodbye. Alimony and child support up the ass. This might be the biggest shitstorm of the year. It might even be the biggest one of the decade. I don't think people are really going to realize the full impact of what's happened for weeks and weeks and weeks as people parse through the information. But let's start at the beginning, because maybe you're asking, who the fuck is Ashley? And what the hell is AshleyMadison.com? Well, AshleyMadison.com is a website for whores. Horrible, horrible whores that like to cheat on their spouses. You go there if you want to. Hook up with somebody. Now, if you look at the main page, it says... This is an adult website. It's it's secure. Look at the little lock. You've got <laughs> you've got nothing to worry about. That little lock is on there. So don't worry. We protect your information. It is a website dedicated for people who are in marriages or long-term relationships, and they can go onto this website and they can make a profile and they can cheat on their significant other. Is your husband not doing it for you? Is your wife not doing it for you? Congratulations. Go to AshleyMadison.com and get herpes because fuck it. You don't have any respect for the sanctity of marriage. What do you care? Go get ridden by 14 different guys and get a raging case of fucking gonorrhea. You horrible, horrible, degenerate people. I mean, sure, an adult, you know, weird thought, an adult might just say, I'm not happy with my marriage, or I'm not happy in my relationship. Maybe I should get a divorce. Maybe I should break up with that person. But no, the degenerate fucks that use AshleyMadison.com instead think, I'm just going to cheat on them potentially exposing myself and them through our intimate relationship to a host of different venereal diseases and emotional trauma at the fact that I'm a horrible human being and when they find out that I've been fucking this many people, they're going to be devastated. Now, a little while back, Team Impact, that's the group that apparently went after this, released a statement saying that if Ashley Madison didn't shut down, they were going to dump information. Now, you might be asking, well, what information do they have? And how do they get the information? So I'm just going to read their statement to you. M&M must shut down immediately, permanently. We are Team Impact. We have taken over all systems in your entire office and production domains, all customer information databases, source hey, code dudes. repositories, financial records, emails. Shutting down AM and EM will cost you, but non-compliance will cost you more. We will release all customer records, profiles and all the customer secrets, sexual fantasies, nude pictures, and conversations matching credit card transactions, real names, addresses, and employee documents and emails. Fuck Avid Life do Media I, man. liable for fraud and extreme harm to millions of users. Avid Life Media runs Ashley Madison, the internet's number one cheating site for people who are married or in a relationship to have an affair. ALM also runs Established Men, a prostitution human trafficking website for rich men to pay for sex, as well as Cougar Life, a dating website for cougars, Man Crunch, a site for gay dating, Swappernet for swingers, and the big and the beautiful for overweight dating. Trevor, ALM CTO, once said, protection of personal information was his biggest critical success factors, and I would have to see our systems hacked and or leak of personal information. Well, Trevor, welcome to your worst fucking nightmare. And what a nightmare it is. Now, one of the things you need to know about Ashley Madison is exactly how much information is about, well, it's already been dropped, it's been leaked. Essentially, Team Impact gave them an ultimatum. Shut down your website or releasing this information. They didn't shut down the website. All these multiple sites, Ashley Madison and the other ones that are listed, when you total them all up, have millions and millions of users all around the world. Now you're thinking, well, what's the big yes, deal? Yes, right? yeah. So they get an email. Who cares? That doesn't prove anything. Well, if you read the demands, as stated by Team Impact, it's a hell of a lot more than emails. You see, this was covered last year. But Ashley Madison actually extorts money from users in a really ingenious way. When you set up a profile on their website and use it to cheat on your significant other, and then later on decide that this was maybe a bad idea and you want to take it down, they're going to charge you money to do that. And even after having charged you the money to do that, the information is not deleted. It's actually still stored in their servers. So I have to imagine millions of people who have all, who have all fucked around on their spouse, gotten cold feet, tried to delete the account, and then had to use a fucking credit card to do it. That credit card, which is tied to their name, their address, and has all this other information attached to it, that is what's getting dumped. Now, people are already parsing through this. They're already they're already looking through this, and this is why I think it's going to be just a spectacular Sorry, Robux. Is because of the emails that were used to sign up for a lot of these accounts. People are already finding .gov emails. They're finding IBM. They're finding Boeing. 
fucking Vatican City, the Vatican emails are in there. <laughs> if you can imagine what a single sex scandal is like for a person who is in a political position of power or at the head of a company, think back to Bill Clinton and Monica Lewinsky. Now imagine that shitstorm a hundredfold over all over the world having, uh, happening at the same time. That is what's going to be happening here. You're going to have government officials having to step down and resign. People's marriages are going to be utterly destroyed. Their financial information has been completely compromised. Their privacy has been torn to shreds. You're going to see people posting on social media all over the world talking about how they can't believe that their husband or their wife, their girlfriend or their boyfriend is such a piece of shit because they just found out their email and their information was in this leak. You're going to see the heads of companies have to make public apologies you're going to see Dude, messy divorces. horny men what pay for everything. And man, there is no limit now, to that. There, I don't know if this is legit. No not, limit. Somebody has already found, you know, quotation marks, Tony Blair's government email in these leaks. I want you to think of that going forward. I, I know this video is somewhat short. There's not a lot of information in it. But this is going to be fucking spectacular. I mean, I'm going to the fuck up. Really, at the end of the day, they got caught. They got caught doing something terrible. I don't know how they're going to spin that to make themselves the victim. So really watch this over the next week because fucking shit is it going to be great. I, I can't even I can't even speculate whose name is going to be in there and what information is going to come out and how people are going to react. But there are going to be fucking reactions and it is going to be big and it's going to be worldwide. And it's all because this company doesn't give a shit. Really, you've got two horrible things with a story like this. You've got flanderers, you've got cheaters who just don't give a shit about the relationships, and that's going to have a, a toll on their personal life. That's, that's, you know, one of the horrible things. But the other horrible thing is this company, Avid Life Media, didn't give a shit. They knew they were compromised. They knew they were compromised. They knew customers were in danger of having their financial and personal information put out to the world, and they didn't do anything. So who's worse? I can't tell you. But either way, it's going to make everybody look bad. So in summation, actually Madison is right. Life is short, just like the lifespan of avid life media. Oh, are they fucked. Wait, 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 you don't have one? How's it going with your crunch though? Sounds like you had a good thing going there, Rugos. But uh, you can see it if you just go to like even Twitter, man. Even right here on the PlayStation, I came across a female streamer not long ago. And she obviously was new. Uh, sitting there with, I think it was only 12 viewers or so. So I joined in and it did take me long to realize what her game plan was. You know, already set up the entire room to, to make it look like a freaking cam girl's room, right? Didn't take long for the donations to start rolling in and uh, we all know what that entails, right? And people are so sick of it, especially on um, on Twitch and all that good stuff. Want to get rid of all the goddamn female streamers because not, none of them are streaming anything other than their tits, right? Oh, please subscribe and I'm going to uh, uh, dance or do something shitty in the background. And people are falling for it. And that takes away spots of potential viewers for someone who's actually streaming games, which the, uh, which is the point of that page. So people... Are fed up with this cramp. Come on, drop me a cursed one, damn it. you
my mom and her mom got into shit and now I can't talk to her, sisters or brother. Yeah, what the hell happened though? Did you do anything? Kamsa in Bobo! Ej, hvor er jeg pisse træt af det her, mand. Fuck it. Just pick up the thing and run, dude. I don't want to fight these anymore. You're like the worst enemies in the game. They sure do, Ned. And I'd be like, hug this bitch. Where is the item? I want to get the hell out of here before I use all my goddamn blood vials. Where is it? Where is it? There. Thank you. I'm out. There we go, we're done here. Let's kill the brain. We're not fighting these. Because we will be getting one one shot it Dude, I've ate through like forty blood miles doing this crap. Let me get my blood rock. There we go. <sighs> Basically took money from mine. My mom went to confront her. Shit was bad. Yeah. I'm with Axeman on this one. Tap it and run. Go away, spider. <laughs> Did you see him? He was like... Heal, 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 heal! Oh, that was close. Don't, bitch, don't. No, 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 no. Where do I have to go? No! You'll be fine. You'll get pl plenty of poon tank, man. Just go for it, brother.
thank you for watching, bro, bro. It's always a pleasure having you here, brother. Stay straight. Got that right, Dark Wolf. Nothing comes close to this game. Nothing. Just one thing. FF12. But that's not a game you can play all the time, though. This is, unfortunately. Not unfortunately. Luckily. Ladies and gentlemen, the blood rock. Fuck Sekiro, man. I don't even like it right now, Alex. That shit is too difficult. And inconsistent, I should say inconsistent. Watching no girls, act man. So, like, what you need to do is go to there. Plus 10, baby. So we went from 77 to... 121 we raised more than 50 points dude and we broke 300 damage 301 I believe I was looking at 
321 or so last time that would be maximum damage you could uh you could get for a level one but i'm pretty happy with 301 though I've actually seen a couple of guides for, for getting good. Or not really getting good, but like... How to... How you play the game, right? And... Uh, let's go and uh, get our... Blah, 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 yeah. Let's go get our shit. And we get it... Wait. No, Cathedral Wall, Cathedral Wall. My bad, my bad. Oh, we have to go back. Uh, we do that through the forest. Let's go that first. Go to your Sefka's clinic because we have to pick up all three umbilical cords so we can get the f secret final boss. I can tell you straight up if I like him or not. Next man, let's go ahead. You finally made it to Fountainhead Palace. While it's beautiful, it's also filled with bullshit. You got some crazy guy in a tree over here kicking. I like him. Fortunately, I couldn't see that. Because, oh, it was part five of something. My bad. So you've been making your way through Sekiro, and never mind the main bosses, you're stuck on the mini-bosses. Whether it's Seven Spears stabbing you and chucking you off a cliff, or the drunkard spitting a bunch of poison in your eyes, these enemies seem insurmountable, and you just can't get those prayer beats. That's alright. I was there once myself. We all start somewhere. Welcome to the Get Good Guide for Sekiro mini-bosses. Now, as opposed to the previous Get Good series, where we focused on each main boss in our individual video, this series is going to break it up into early game, mid game, and late game bosses, because to be frank, each mini boss doesn't warrant its own video. Regardless of that, this series will look at how to get initial death flow on each of these bosses if you can, and then it will go into the strategies involved in dismantling each and every one of them, similar to how the other Gate Good guys happen. In addition to that, because this series is on New Game Plus and I have more health and attack power than you might have, I'll be keeping that in mind and using strategies that are going to be applicable for even a first playthrough of the game, and only using moves that you would likely have at that point as well. So with all that being said, let's get things kicked off. First up on our list, we have General Naomori. Now you're going to fight quite a few generals throughout the game, and they all have two things in common. They like to do a move that will regain their posture, which you can interrupt by just attacking them, and they like to do perilous sweeps, which you can interrupt by jumping up in the air and bouncing off their head, or alternatively, doing either Senpo leaping kicks or high mark. Because of that, I would honestly suggest... And you're absolutely right, Axeman. I will check into this and actually watch those guys in full. Shit. I just wanted to hear how he was presenting uh, the video. There you go. Cool. That's something when I uh, try to look for for um, secure content, I can never find anyone expect like people who can barely speak English. So cool. Thank you, Axe. Alright, Redneck, welcome to Band World. It's gonna confuse me to listen to it now, though, so you know. Purple Band is bitch ass. Serious. Fuck you. If you continue to say Richard, whether you're a Done it for all. Because I like sometimes to binge watch this stuff in, uh, in the weekends. I can go for hours on end, dude. Shut the fuck, fuck, fuck up. Ban these guys, dude. Just fucking yes, fuck. I don't give a fuck, man. I got eight motherfucking lives at this point. Welcome to Ban World. Ban World. 
Ban world, ban ban world. Bam bam well. We know that there's a new biggest plane constructing. So big that it can hit two towers at the same time. <laughs> that was dark though. That was dark. This is why you get banned. Banned J squared as well. Welcome to Band World, buddy. Get the fuck out. Welcome to Band World, buddy. Why? There's a reason I'm 30 goddamn one. Great hair. Great beard, real talk. There's a reason I'm 30 goddamn one. Great hair. Great beard, real talk. I don't give a fuck, man. I got eight my fucking life at this point. Welcome to the band world. The band world. Band world. The band band world. Shut the fuck, fuck, fuck up. You fucking get some. Shut the fuck, fuck, fuck up. Man, these guys, dude. You fucking get some. I don't give a fuck, man. I hate my fucking life in this point. Welcome to Band World. Band World. Band World. Band Band World. Shut up. Fuck, fuck, fuck up. You fucking get so shut up. Fuck, fuck, fuck up. Band these guys, dude. You fucking get so shut up. Welcome to Band World. Band World. Band World. Band Band World. I'm actually proud of myself with all the music and shit I have been played today. We have hit nothing that was, um, you know, copyrighted. <laughs> so Mike Zig's gonna make his money tonight, boys. <laughs> A whole cent. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I think I make like 10 cents per stream, so there's that. Yay. But you know what? It all adds up. A stream a day keeps the doctor away. I just want to know if she shows her tits, because they were kind of good. Nope. And I'm guessing, holy shit, 3 million views, of course. Where goes the line? How far can we go without it being porn? <laughs> she uses the microphone. Well, I, I gotta, you know, give it to these people, man. They are, they're the smart ones. They're the ones misuse, miss, um, the hell is it called? Abusing the system to earn their money. So you can't hate them for that. I hate the fact that they're not doing anything about it, though. They should add a section to YouTube just call it porn. Put all that shit in there. A dude uploaded her private Patreon videos. Oh, okay, yeah, of course. That's... See, if someone's not usually doing porn... And they agree to do something for an X amount of money on Patreon. You better be sure that guy is going to link that shit. Because he's going to be the one making all the money for selling the videos. Because <laughs> what he could do is put that shit on Pornhub. And just make it into, um, uh, I don't know what you call it, premium content, right? So that people will have to pay him to watch this. Use them knocking of yours if you want them money. Yeah, there still is. You can still find nudity and all kinds of stuff on uh, YouTube. B 
because no one has drawn any attention to it and that is why they don't know it's there. Well, then he's just stupid. Because if I saw that there was 2.8 million people and I was like the only one who was so lucky to get her to show her tits. I wouldn't just upload that shit. No, 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 no. Not the hero we deserved, but the hero we needed. And who is this hero? Is it proving a point? I can't see what point that will be. That she's just a whore, and you don't have to see her tits to uh, to realize this point. So I wouldn't know what the point would be, Axeman. Uploaded them in, so oh, okay, of course. All right, bring it. This is weird, man. I haven't heard a single word from Innisfear. We're supposed to be playing tonight. What I see, I could immediately tell you that. Cam girl. Yeah, I see money horror, definitely. <laughs> Look at that, it's all she's doing sitting there. And I guess she, oh, okay, this one doesn't have any views. Dude, she's kind of like me. I like her now. She has 83,000 subscribers and 6,000 views. <laughs> How? She's even a female, dude. Okay, that's weird. Poor her. She can't even get money with that. <laughs> she stated at a million she does porn. A million subs? Uh, no, I don't notice the trend. You have to point me in the right direction for that. Yeah, but she's hot. I, I thought it doesn't matter how bad you are at whatever you do. As long as you're hot, you know, people will just sit there. See, I have a guilty pleasure as well, Axeman. I look at um, chicks that actually try out bikinis and then show them out and then show them off and there's no limit to what that can show anyways man they are literally topless with uh thongs on and just standing there in youtube videos i just mute them because i can't stand listening to them but you know it's good for research sometimes uh i forgot what my point was The fuck did I just do, man? It just completely... Boom.
What up, Luffy? <sighs> what do you mean that they're getting mad when calling what it is? I still don't understand what the, the point was of, you know, her having 83,000 subs and only 6,000 views. Come in, Molly. Come in. Just come. Come in, Baba. A wild bubble appeared. <sighs> oh, and there he is. Wow, only one and a half hours late. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, don't worry about it, Axe. I mean, uh, the inner sphere. <laughs> Where did I put my controller now? We've had all the talks in here tonight. <clears throat> ah. The reason she has less now is YouTube cracked down on her. They used to be a lady who straight up be topless in thong. They shut down her channel. All right, so uh, naturally, um, I hate to say it, dude, but I've only got like an hour to go. Then I have to be in sleep, so it would be probably too late to start up um, um, our new game. Because I also saw, because I loaded it up to make sure there wasn't any, you know, hidden updates for it. That we had to go through. And then I can see you have to link your account with Sony or some shit like that. So I was like, okay, I'll just do that. Synchronized with you when you do it. And no, I also do not get AMSR, right? ASMR. But look how um um dude, it, <laughs> like even mid sentence, I completely lose track over what I'm saying. <laughs> Any chance you can play some... Don't wait, I can't even do that myself. I can't even play. I mean, I got something both Wednesday, Thursday. But I don't got anything Friday. Oh, did I survive that?
Yeah, well, it's all sound based, right? That's like the entire point of that. But why the whispers? I don't understand it. You can barely hear what they're saying anyways, man. Yes, exactly. That's the feeling I get when I see these things as well. It's like, dude, speak up. I can't hear you. Just maybe a little slap to the face is going to make her open up the, the uh, mouth. <laughs> But it is true, though, if someone whispers inside your ear, you go like, it can be like those, those you get those, I don't know, which just shivers through the body or something. I'll do Mirko. Stop hitting me! Son of a bitch! Yeah, but then you you would also have some sort of interest for actually looking into it then if you went ahead and uh, and did research, right? See, I would be like watching one video and I would be like, what the fuck is this shit? And I would shut it down and never ever watch any of that again. See, I... But if it was something that actually had piqued my interest, I would go ahead and, and, and do some research on it and find out what it really was, you know. Oops, why am I even doing that? But then again, at this day and age, there's like a million different, you know, sexual kinks or erotica, whatever people decide to like turn on to. There's no limit to it anymore. I mean, I still think like you can just sit and eat some food and some people will jack off to that. It's like, why? We are too old for this in this fear, man. We don't get that shit anymore. What's next? Someone taking a shit and then someone jacks it. Well, that's probably been around for many years. <laughs> yeah, there you see, but that's normal, right? Anyone would jack off to me playing. <laughs> Don't! And I'm dead! Wow, okay, nice dodge. Because I'm naked here, I don't have any armor on, so basically anything below a tiny bitch slap is going to kill me. One shot. Ha! Okay, why the fuck did that not kill me? That's gonna hurt. It's weird. It was even a counter attack. Why doesn't it do any more damage than that? No, 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 no. Early, early nightmare phase. We fucked. We're not only fucked. We're dead. Hey, uh, Inner Sphere. Can I, with um, with my laptop only and OBS. 
Could I stream my screen? Like what I have on my laptop here and just do voiceover on that. Is that possible? Like with no effort? <laughs> I should say. Could I figure that out on my own? Because I'd like to do a new format of uh, streaming. And then do that. And, and watch like crazy videos and commentate over them. I think I told you about this before. No effort at all. And my shitty laptop should be able to run that even. Because no, uh, no face cam, no uh, need for that. Even though, you know, it's always more fun to see reactions and stuff. Yeah, I know, right? I've been thinking about doing this for a long time, Max, man. Because then it would be something to do with the community that you guys actually come and, and drop links off the videos that we can see. Crazy stories and, uh, you know, doing all that shit live. I think that could be... Excuse me, what the hell happened there? I'm still all up for that in a fear. It's kind of, you know, maybe a little bit difficult for us since we only got one day a week together. <laughs> <laughs> you know I love you, brother. You're the one who went to sleep. And I think like last Tuesday I went to sleep. <laughs> I actually did, remember? <laughs> Problem is, we love each other, but we're old men. And we get tired. <laughs> Don't kill Marzik, please. No idea what happened, but I got out of that alive. <laughs> Look at all the free souls! I haven't killed anything, and I got 23,000 for that. <laughs> I'll go back, JM. <laughs> Yeah, roommates at the retirement home, right? <gasps> Yo, Innisfere. <laughs> Can I borrow your medicine? <laughs> you take out a life policy on him. <laughs> and welcome back, JM. Get a feeling it's not as nice as the title implies. Is there anything nice in the title? Because I don't see it. <laughs> okay. Let me try one where I buff. Shit, I only got two left? Banging the one nurse in a few minutes. I need my blue pill. You need your Viagra pill. That's what you need. <laughs> Cause the nurse just came from my room, bitch. <laughs> Come on, it's so fucking hard to hit this bitch. <laughs> Early nightmare face again? Are you fucking kidding me? See, when she does it so early, the other one doesn't even spawn. She's not supposed to... You know what? Can we just fight her? Yeah, we can. Huh. I shouldn't be afraid of this. Or should I? Oh, I should! I should be afraid of that! <laughs> Half! 
half. Have you ever seen that Eddie Murphy stand-up show? You went like half. <laughs> Human cake? Wait, 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 what's that? It sounds disgusting though. Because I have a feeling what a human cake is. Ah, you should see the, um, I was about to say trailer, the intro movie for that. It's the wet nurse for the final, or oh, the wet nurse, I think it's pronounced wet nurse for the, um, the unborn, the child of the Pretumrian queen, who is uh, pregnant with a child that we just killed her. So now her wet nurse is actually covering over her and uh, secret all secret aside its cost from the DLC. Hardest boss ever made in any video game ever. <laughs> and uh, we need to beat the shit out of her so we can get the cost. Aye, look at that asshole. And balls? Was that just a pig dick? <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't know what a wet nurse was. I thought it was porn related, you know? <laughs> so I went to Google it and then I learned what it was. Like a, um, there is a word for it. Like a guardian or something? No, when? Oh, well, you know what it was. What it is. Yeah, I know, right? That's also how I love... Oh, shit. Did I ever tell you about... I was actually uh, in the hospital not long ago. Because I, I had... Like, the worst pain imaginable to my left testicle. Yeah. I know, right? Started at work, and I honestly couldn't even stand, walk, or lay down. So I was just completely paralyzed in my car, laying there, screaming in agony. So naturally, I ended up at the hospital. Because we, of course, need to, needed to have this checked. So I went in the first place to the doctors, and um, he came in and be like, All right, let's look at it. And be doing the good old... <laughs> <laughs> you know? And... Um, well, Maisha, can you drop your pants? And I go ahead and drop the pants, and then there's a knock on the door. I was like, all right, this is turning into a party right now. And uh, the little, um, the little, uh, what do you call, intern walks in and is like, all right, so this is our intern, uh, Julius, or whatever his name was. And, yeah, can I watch? <laughs> I was like, okay, this is a party, dude. So I got two guys looking at my junk. And, you know, touching all over the place. You gotta see what's wrong with it, right? I was like, mm, yeah. This is times where I just wish I had a female doctor, you know. Now, so here's the thing, right? They can't really determine what it is, but they had their fun with it. And then they sent me to, like, the, uh... I don't know, the next level in, in hospitals that I have to go there. So I end up there, and uh, I kid you not, I was waiting for like four and a half hours or so to be uh, examined. And when I finally do get examined, I kid you not, this was just like being on a fucking porn set, man. The nurse walks in, and it was like, wow, why are you a nurse and not a fucking model, dude? She was hot as hell. And then it struck me, oh my god, she's just about to touch on my dick. <laughs> and uh, she'd be like, not even finishing the sentence. Maja, can you drop the pants? And be like, pants were down. All right, damn. <laughs> Let's take a look. <laughs> and you know what? That was the whole goddamn worth the wait, dude. <laughs> oh, God. I remember it like it was yesterday. That was a fun experience, though.
prostate exam. I've never had one either. At least I don't think so. Because <laughs> I do remember at that point, I think it was in conjunction with uh, the testicle incident that I also got a uh, finger up my ass. I can't remember if it... I definitely got one, like, recently. <laughs> No, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, stop being greedy. He remembered that he actually drank the drink with the Rofi in it. He wouldn't be able to remember that. <laughs> Thank you, Silly Ween, and have a nice evening, man. <laughs> and you know that sound the glove makes when you like. And you let it go like that, then you just know when you hear that sound, you're in trouble. <laughs> you know what's to come. Hello. Oh, oh! Yoga fire! Homing fire, apparently. Something tells me I might be running out of blood vials, though. Ha! See, I tricked the fucking pigs so they wouldn't chase me. Never mind! Thank you, Dark Souls! I'd rather stick his lube finger up there in his when? Oh, then his penis. I was like, in his penis? What? That just sounds painful as hell, to be honest. <laughs> <sighs> well. I'm in a good mood because as soon as we get the bloody goddamn Cosmic Watcher bag, badge, I will have 33 Beast Blood Pellets and around 30 buffs with the Elementals, so I'm set. Because I haven't really wasted any of them throughout the game, so I'm super prepared for endgame though. Don't say shit like that! A tube? How on... I don't... I don't even know if I wanna know. How do you get a tube up there? Oh shit! They need it to put contrast fluid on my entire inner f yeah that's right that, that's the, like the fluid they put in when they need to take the pictures but um, I, I oh wait so they put it in there So you, 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 you didn't get anything stuck in there. That was to, to test. To figure out why you had belly egg, right? I got one too. It's not as painful, but it is painful to see why I couldn't move. They didn't figure it out. So did it just naturally go away? That's actually what happened. Yes, that's actually also what happened with my te testicle incident. Like the next day, nothing. Nothing, and they didn't find a course for it. 
It's weird, dude, that you can have so much pain. Like, literally. Feel like you're dying or so. And next day, nothing. Everything's back to normal. Like, two and a half weeks after. Seven or eight. Now, here's my story. Also age seven or eight. I believe it was even younger than that. Now, I like climbing. Believe it or not, I was skinny as hell as a kid, right? <laughs> so, I enjoyed climbing. We always climbed up in fences and trees, whatever we could find. So, you know when you get these trees that are kind of rotted away or so, so, so the bark is actually peeling off? Yeah. Crawling up one of those and like a big chunk of this bark falls into my eye. I wasn't using glasses back then. And it was stuck, dude. And it was painful. It was literally like what you think a piece of tree in your eye would feel like. So uh, naturally, my mom uh, rushes me to the uh, emergency room. And I kid you not, this is how they got that shit out. I remember they, they like boiled it first, like uh, warm water first, right? And then they took a piece of, you know, not, not bandage, which you roll around, but that one that tapes, the bandage that tapes, like a big square of that directly on my eyeball. And then just pulled it off like some sort of tape, right? <laughs> and then there is that little bit of piece that was stuck in my eye, now stuck on the tape. I have never been in so much pain in my entire life, dude. Holy shit, that hurt. After almost 1.5 week, dad rode from France straight home in one sit. Damn. I think that is why we're so nervous for our kids these days. Because we know what kind of shit we went through. <laughs> and we don't want it to happen for them. Hernia. See, that's what I that's what I originally thought that my uh, testicle incident was. Did you get that from carrying shit, right? Oh, oh, fuck no! I think I got her trapped in a loop here or something. Oh shit! Oh whoa! Okay, I never saw that before. Then the others just secretly spawn. Thank you for that. I had I had no idea that would happen. That's a pain you cannot get rid of with painkillers. That does not sound good, dude. Wait, wait, wait. You got hernia. Does it just show up like randomly un unannounced? <laughs> you know, it, it, you, you don't do something that triggers it. And how long does that shit stay?
<laughs> Shit. But I still say that like the worst pain you can have is just headache. Good old fashioned headache. I just can't stand it, dude. And there's like different levels of headache, right? You can have the one where you'd be like, oh yeah, it's good. I'll just go to work, sit and moan a little bit in the car. And then the, there's those headaches where you can't even move. Because it's an extreme pain. 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 What the hell? Oh, that ass, though. I can't even beat Murgo. What a hernia actually is, it's the one of the discs between your spine. Spine vertebrae leaks fluid that solidifies and puts pressure on a nerve. Oh, that sounds painful, man. Oh my god. Shit. I, um. I never wish to experience this. But I imagine, like, when your lower back becomes warm, uh, that, that do that sometimes for carrying stuff, right? Wait, how did you get it, though? I mean, you say it just shows up now and then, but how did it, you know, originally come? And what up, Mikey? How are you tonight? Yes, I've eaten wrong a long, wrong a long time ago. Actually, I think I got wrong in like second try. Oh, I can't see anything. Now we're trying to kill Murgo. <laughs> Accident, my ass, axe man. <laughs> The pain is not only in your back, but it flows through your legs and your foot. So your entire leg hurts and you can't get rid of it. Because nerve pain. Not long ago, I, um, I woke up with, with like my lower side. Not the lower back, right? But when you go to the side. And I was having some sort of nerve damage in there. It was literally so so painful that I was crying, dude. I had no idea what it was. And I couldn't do anything to get rid of it. Luckily, lucky fucking luckily, I had some morphine lying around. Yeah, that extreme. Because I needed to get rid of that. I have never experienced that before. It just randomly showed up. But it, it feels like, you know, it could have been some nerve pain then. Would be like the only thing, but how? When you say it doesn't get rid of it with um, painkillers, is morphine considered a painkiller? Because that took away that sin. She's weak to bolt and rapid poisoning. I could use both. I'm just trying to get her without using any buff Siduine because I need all of these for the next, uh, the upcoming bosses. Because if I go too far, I just need to farm it and I really don't want to do that. Even though I got like more than 40 in here plus that. I got like maybe 80 buffs. <laughs> but again... If you need 80 tries on uh, on Maria, then it's uh, then it's 80 bucks. Goodbye. One of those things you get when you get old. Morphine did nothing for that shit. <laughs> nice one, Mike. iPhone and iPad. 
Oh, so you one of them people. Uh, you should read it. It's very interesting. Axeman's story of where he first got introduced to AMSR. It ends up with him sticking his dick in someone's asshole, so that was always fun to read. <laughs> no, 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 that's not what I meant. I meant if you're one of them who's actually getting an Apple product, because that's never a good thing. That's just never a good thing. All right, Siloine, for you, I'll do it. As you can see, it gives maybe 80 damage more. I mean, in the long run, it's pretty good, right? But... Dick don't go in ass. Of course it does. Of course it does. Have you ever been like, you know, driving your car and you want to park it within a very, very narrow parking spot? And you think before, there's no way that I can park within this small space. But yet you still try. There you go. Five minutes later, you're in. <laughs> Yeah, we were supposed to play a new game tonight called Path of Exile. Which is actually free on the PlayStation job. But it looks like uh, it might be up our alley since we actually beat Gauntlet not long ago. Because we beast. Or rather, in a spirit beat it. I died. Because <laughs> he has the pussy long range character, so he doesn't have to be in danger. No! But anyway, it was a good fight. It's... What was it? It was an overhead one, right? Yeah, I said that! In a sphere. I said that, I gave you all the credit. <laughs> but it was because of your character, not because of your skill. We all know that. <laughs> I died because your team effort was lacking. <laughs> I know. And whole people can't, you know, dismiss the message that they are. So you didn't get called into the office. Yeah, I know, right? Mike, that was like my best attempt ever. Fuck, is this so annoying? I have to run all the way back up there. You know what? We're buffing. No, we're not buffing. I can't buff because I only got two left, man. And I actually need to be done now. It's getting wet time. It's getting wet nurse time. Haha, <laughs> no. So let's go up there and beat the shit out of her so we can get to sleep, alright? No! Alright, so far so good. Wait, wait, wait. Just one thing, right? those free souls 23,000 there you go 
Just because the pigs died. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, but that's how I, I I understood the story as well. What does that exactly have to do with AMSR? She was whispering to him, Put your dick in my asshole. <laughs> Why are you killing Weddy's mom? <laughs> we finally found her though. It's been many years, but we found her mom. His mom. Right, let's do this now. I'm tired of this. No more bullshit. I am going to buff because that is what we need to do after anyway, so. Go. This is how we do things around the hood, bitch. Trust that attack. Fuck me, dude. No. <laughs> I don't want to do this no more. Custy was in here earlier. Yeah, he's uh, he's busy with uh, Neo. No, not Neo. Uh, Sekiro. Well, one buff to go. I do not get youngsters anymore. I don't get the world anymore. It's not even just young people, it's like everyone. Yep. Well, at least the young people agree that music nowadays is shit. Yeah, everything has to be online on PC these days. And you know what's really fucked these days? The internet. Places on the internet. But you know what? It's a good thing that we can hide in our little home. Just playing our games and not giving a shit about the world outside because... Well, it doesn't give a shit about you. As long as you work and wait and make the world money, they'll leave you alone. You're just a terrible time to be There's one pop group that I enjoy because I've never been much into it. But any day I'll put on the Maze of Base, dude. Best pop group ever. Such beautiful music, even. I think they're entitled to everything and just because they're women. Exactly! Remember, like, how much years back we have to go? Like, 70 or 80 years? Women couldn't even vote. Because, you know, our ancestors knew what this would turn into. They were trying to prevent it. 
Nowadays, they're basically controlling the world. Anything they can they can turn into their favor. Well, that man just looked at me. I'll just say he raped me. 40 years in prison. There you go. Don't even have to prove it. They just have to cry a little bit. Yeah, definitely. If there was a god, he would have killed us by now. Because he wouldn't take the shit. Nice. I'm gonna use patience for this right now because I don't want to do it anymore. God damn it! Now we're running. Still not long enough to spawn any of the others, but I've learned from the other mistakes. Now we're just gonna be careful. I'll get to the chat as soon as I can. Can't take my eyes off the bitch. See? Even in video games, man. <laughs> All has to be bitches. <laughs> Tell me that was fucking scary, dude. <laughs> because it because he said hi, exactly, right? Exactly, Mike. Women are virtue. Protect the women. Women are everything and we want equality. <laughs> Where does that Islam come from? <laughs> Black man assaulting other old white man when he was 70 years old. Guy got his ass kicked by the old man and the black bitch was yelling for the black dude to kick his ass. Slammed the old man, stumped his ass. All this happened on a fucking bus. <sighs> you know, I'm happy that I stay inside my home every day. That I don't expose myself to reality. Because reality is something I do not want to experience. Just saying hi to another person is just fucking kills me. What kind of world are we living in, dude?
Yes. Yes, just for being white, we're automatically racist, dude. Have you ever heard of gang stalking? Well, sometimes I, I think like we, we're going, uh, we're going the wrong way at, at like, um, you know, encountering this. If everyone says that being white is automatically a racism thing, let's give them fucking racism, dude. Now let's show them how exactly how racist we can be so they know exactly what is racist and what is not. Then they'll shut the hell up about, you know, just being white, being a racist. Yeah. You are the racist, black people, man. They are the racist. Or the government, whoever the fuck is making up these crazy allegations. Women says men rape them all the time. Let's fuck give them a raping their never to death, man. Again? Are you Tells me my weapon is about to break. No! Same mistake again. You're such an idiot, my sake. That's true, but you can't call someone black anymore, uh, uh, Mike. You need to know his entire story, his nationality, what country he's from. Then you can call him sir. <laughs> there was a funny um, commercial or like controversy for uh, Resident Evil 5 when that thing came out. I think it was showcasing black zombies, right? So they had to get rid of them. Oh man, we can't have you shooting black zombies. Well, you can shoot all the white zombies you, uh, you heart's desire, right? As soon as we get the black ones. No, 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 no. You can shake their hands. And let them kill you, right? Someone made the interesting question of asking. If there was a black and a white zombie coming at you, which one of them would you shoot first? <laughs> To which the only reasonable reply would of course be the one that's closest. It's ridiculous how much they go up in this thing. Yeah, exactly same thing with women now. Remember all the controversy about Red Dead Redemption? Oh my god, you can kill women in this game. Even women that you know has a vote? Oh, we need to ban this shit. Well, you just killed a hundred of people on, uh, you know, bandits on horses. Yeah, but they were already criminals. Screw that. This woman is, is an elected official. You can't kill her. Close your eyes and ears to the world, boys. That's the only way.
Now, can we please end this? Because I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> we'll give it three more tries. That's it. Should have killed her on the first time, man. I got her so far down. But dang him, I think, like, look at those messages 854. It's my highest message. Bloodborne stream ever. <laughs> It's nice to just sit now, you know, talk about whatever in here. But nowadays, just the fact that mine is white means that I am racist. That is racist. <laughs> we had a Danish stand-up uh, comedian who actually talked about this very subject. Also made the exact claim that you're saying now. But, you know, just by sheer coincidence, he's actually white. But... He can't go in and start, you know, um, you can always see if a black guy stands up to any, any event possible and say, I'm black, I'm proud. And people go like, yeah, that's it. You show him, bro. You show him, bro. And I imagine if a white guy did that, you know, start up any event like a soccer match, you're going to invade the soccer uh, guy, right? And he'd be like, hey, man, I'm white and I'm proud. Are you racist? No. I'm just happy about my color, dude. That's all. Nope, you can't do that. No, 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 no. Oh, wow. I thought you were going into Fuck that was such a good find man You, you know what I love anyone any media Whatever, stand-up comedian, soccer player, boxing, you know, YouTuber, whatever. Anyone who says it just like it is, no filter, doesn't try not to offend anyone, says things as they are, would have my respect. Would have my respect. <laughs> Show that fabric how angry you are. I am angry. Hey, Innisfear. Come on, let's end this. Two more tries. One of them is going to be the good one.
That was actually a good point right there. I wanted to see like a uh, an event here. Let's just say soccer match again. Do I really want to play soccer? And it would be nice to see how many people would rise for our national anthem. How many would? It's like immigrants would do it. Now that they're living here in Denmark, in our country, would they rise for our national anthem? Would they just be, you know, disrespectful? Shock. Wow. boys i'm actually fighting with my eyes now who can stay open the longest so um this is gonna be last try because we need to go to sleep but as usually true pleasure of streaming for you boys big shout out to axe man you've been with me for three hours tonight bro
All right, boys. That's going to be the end of me. I hope you have enjoyed the stream. Very nice talking to you guys today. And um, tomorrow I got brain practice tomorrow. And then a gig Thursday. So I'll probably be on for a short little stream tomorrow. But who knows. Depending on when I get home. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope that I'll see you again tomorrow. But until then. Take care of each other. And good fucking night. Oh, let's kill this bitch. Jesus Christ, man! I'm out. I'll see you boys. Bye.